Greetings ladies and gentlemen, Dwyer here, and we are back on, T uh, not Taijem, sorry, as you can clearly see, we are on Foxy, on my Basic Man 2Q account, because we may have failed to get a game on OGS. But that's alright, 2Q for Basics isn't that bad, so I thought we would go and hit up a game because it is Friday, and that means it's a time for some Basics. Look how much faster that is, 10.33, yes, let's do it. We're white, so I'm probably not going to be building today like I kind of uh, initially planned on, so probably going to wind up doing something a bit more aggressive. Now, if we are aggressive, we are doing things such as dividing weak groups, keeping things separated, and just trying to, you know, get some good old profits in there. If they decide to protest a little bit too much, then we can get some good attacks on. However, I do want to address a slight issue where some people have been... Uh, unaware of what an aggressive fighting game is. I mean, you're just putting pressure on your opponent. If they ignore you, then you're ready to say why they should have not ignored you. Uh, here, for example, we're going to get into a lot of invasions because he seems to be very, very uh, greedy right now, and I'm okay with that. I'm just going to get a base as per basics. I don't mind. Now you might say, but wait a minute, look at all the territory he's taking. But he didn't really take anything because he still has this. So what do I care? I'm just going to mind my own business. He can jump out here too. I still not, I'm still not going to care because I'm developing this, I'm going to be developing this. <sighs> That's fine. I'm, uh, he's allowed to do that. Um, I don't really want to give him that one though. I kind of want to play here, but... I'll just play basics for the time being. Ooh, he's going for influence. That's very unusual. This is not a thing that actually works, so I advise you to avoid it in your games unless you really, 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 really want uh, some influence. But as you can see here, I have Sente. So I can just take a enclosure. But instead, I'm actually going to prioritize this, because if he plays here, it's forcing. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this one instead. And he answered me, so I'm going to go and grab this too. He should be playing here, I'm going to invade that. He did not, so I'm going to defend and put pressure. All about that pressure. Just enough to make sure that he knows he needs to respond to me. That's all. Nothing more than that. Mm -hmm. He's pushing through at this rate. We're doing two games tonight, it looks like. I'm A-OK -okay with this. So this shape is very interesting because I can throw in here and he's not alive. But doing that right now when I can't really see where the profit comes from trying to do it doesn't make any sense. Instead, I'm actually going to play aggressively by playing over here and leaving this open. That way, if he plays here and I get like a wall over here, then I can throw in. That's pretty friggin' aggressive. So by not... I don't have to defend because he's weak up here still, right? That's the, that's the idea. If he invades this, I get this, and there's that left behind. Um, this is very odd. He's now a weak group. Uh, that's fine, though. Now play here. He'll have to play this, too, so I'm going to get Sente out of this. If I get this move in, then he's not alive locally. Um, I'm going to poke at this a little bit, just for shape purposes. I think at this rate, he's not alive locally, but I'm in a little bit of trouble myself, so I'm going to take a break and do a little bit of defense. Now this is leaning strongly against these two stones. When you defend yourself, you want to try and defend yourself uh, in Sente for as long as you can. Uh, I don't see another way to defend myself in Sente, so I'm just going to go and fix my shape. He's... It's arguable that I'm in trouble still, so I'll give him one more move. Now I'm not behind enemy lines anymore. I am a little confused, because the cuts don't work. Now I'm really confused. Uh, he should have cut. See, you can read this out really easily. If I push through here, then I get to come up here, and this is not alive yet, so that actually just flat out kills him. But if I, I don't care. Some of you are going to be mad that I'm not, I'm not actively trying to murder him, but that's fine. He cut me. Well, I offered him a peaceful solution here, and he didn't take it. 
See, I was just going to develop this because this is larger, because this is sure points, whereas this is sketchy still. Like, maybe I could kill him, maybe I can't. I don't really know. So going after the sure profit would have been a better idea than going after the questionable profit. Right? Does that make sense to everyone? Um... He goes here to connect, so it's fine. Now I'm not I'm not sure what happens here. This is okay. I'm just gonna jump out if he tries to assault me. Because there's this still. That doesn't make a lot of sense. I'm going to just go ahead and descend and see what he wants to do. Oh, he's gonna go here. Or not. See if we can throw in here. Oh no, I can't because of that now. Oh, okay. Alright, that's fair enough. I'm just gonna play here then and kill these uh, stones off. That's fine. He needs another move here. If he plays here, he's alive. That's okay. I didn't I didn't think about that. This was the wrong way to try to kill him. I should have just played the Hane here and not the throw in. Live and learn. Instead, I'm gonna make a turn here really quickly because this is really severe against this group. I don't want my group in trouble. I want his group in trouble, not mine. So we're playing here. He's leaning on me. That's final honey back. Something a bit like that. I'm cutting because I can see that this group is stronger than a group that has two only two liberties. And I've got like weird odd odgy things. So I don't know, seems fine. Behind enemy lines, I'm gonna jump again. I'm not trying to lean and put pressure on them, I'm just identifying my weak group and getting out of there. Um, is this worth anything? That worth anything? Maybe not. So right now we take a moment to stop and see what's going on, on the board. This is alive. Unfortunate. Uh, this is monkey jumpable, but it's not large right now. Um, this, I can't really see how to attack it still. I could cap it, but then it goes this way. I can cap it. It might go that way. I mean, this might may or may not do something. It's hard to, it's hard to picture it. So we're not going to just do it right now. We're going to go for something that's more sure. And then we arrive on this group, hasn't defended itself, and is behind enemy lines. So tell you what, let's go ahead and talk to this group for a while, see what it wants to do. I think it just wants to die. But you never know. I'm shouldering it because I'm looking for the Hane here. Capping it's probably fine too because it really can't go anywhere. But I just like this one better. So I think those stones, yeah, don't don't play here. If we play here, then he can Atari his way out. Instead, we play this one, and now we can Hane there as a result. Do a quick liberty count. We got the outside, we got some inside. So if he cuts me off, I can just like Atari him and be fine. So seems good. Because if I if he's pushing and I'm Atari, and he's got the two liberties here, right? I got the two liberties here, but I got this too. So yeah, he's bailing. Okay. I will afford him the courtesy of not having a weak group, and I will defend myself, because I don't want my group to be under attack. A little strange, a little strange. So We've got two more groups on this field that we can attack. We don't have to, we could just play here. But some of you have been wanting more aggressive basics. So let's say we want to attack this group here. How do we go about it? The cap, not subtle enough. That tells us, that tells him we're into that. We, we, we want to kill it. And a group that knows it's in trouble will probably always live. If it only has to worry about living, it'll live. So we're gonna attach here and pretend that we're interested in the corner. And now we're going to pretend we're interested in the stone, but we're interested in none of that. Because what we really did, I get one more in? No, he'll get that one. Um, yeah, so what we were really into is that group. But now he can't go this way for safety anymore, can he? He can only go up. And up is a dangerous proposition. Can we come up? 
So you see how we went after that group? Some of you have been clamoring for a little bit more basic play. This didn't change uh, anything. This is still Atari, Atari Connect, two liberties. Um, I'm going to play here because it's safer. I don't see a reason to connect this. This maximizes my liberties. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Again, we can count that out repeatedly. One, two, three, four, four. That is trying to be an I, but we're not going to let it. <clears throat> Excuse me, we're not going to let it be one. This is an Atari, but that's completely A-OK -okay too. Because we can see it goes nowhere. We are definitely playing two games tonight. And as per my usual, I'm probably going to put comments on one of them. Uh, probably not both. It takes a long time to go through a, a, a game. Even if you play it quickly, it still takes a long time to actually go through it and review it. So if he Atari's, I'm going to Atari him back. He's going to take and I'm going to connect. He's going to push through and go here, but we can just uh, turn and come out. And at that point, he only has two liberties, so whatever he does against this group won't matter. These will be fine because they'll have more than two liberties. This will be connected on up. And everything should be fine. Mm -hmm. So as a result, this can't go anywhere now. Um, this is already dead. Because we have a wall here now, uh, this is definitely uninvadable. He can push here, Hane, and give us, what is this, four, five, six line territory? That's about it. He's got some endgame up here for pushing. I can block. Um, there we go. Time for push. I guess this is less my work. He might be able to come back and live in here. All right, so we won't get six line, but that's okay too. Then again, he might die. So once again, how do we attack? We simply divide and conquer. If I want this group, I need to try to prevent it from connecting. So we're going to go and poke its connection. And to do that, we're going to play something a little bit. It could play this. Problem is that gives this one an eye. So if we're actually playing aggressively, as has been requested, I will play here to poke out the eye and see if we can't kill the group. Uh, the question... Oh, I made a mistake. I almost forgot about this group. No, wait, if he pushes and goes there, I can just go there. Never mind, I misread. I didn't have to do any of this. Ooh, key. Uh, that could have been disasterful. Let's go back and make sure that this isn't going to be an issue. And then maybe we'll see if we can't kill everything. You know, just for fun. Maybe we can throw in here and kill everything. Since he has no eyes. You never know, right? Is this a problem? No, he's going to kill these two stones. He's going to push through and cut. And I don't think I can do anything about it. Well, crap, now I can. I'm going to go and defend here. Now push through, cut, Atari, 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 take. This liberty being free allows me to play all of that, which is very nice. We just defend a weak point, and then we're good to go. Is anyone if he plays here? Oh, same thing, different order, we're fine. That doesn't strike me as very large. Um... So like I mentioned, we can poke through up here, as previously stated, and then do this. I'm fine with getting rid of groups over here, or even these two stones, probably just these three stones. Because uh, he's going to play here, and I'm just going to go there, so he can't push, cut, and do horrible things to me. Um, back off, because he can capture this, and it's only one eye. Uh, 
on there. Yep. You place it right by there, like so. Uh, this isn't going to be an eye because I can falsify it two different ways. I can't do this one because this is going to hurt when he cuts me, and I can't allow it to happen. Yeah, see, if he had this stone, then uh, this wouldn't work because then you could capture, you could Atari here. I connect, and then he captures me, so I have to give up these two stones, and this whole thing would be alive. Instead, it looks like it's all dead. Um, I mean, this is captured, so... I'm just going to go ahead and play here, I guess. I don't care that this is cut off because it only has three liberties, so we can capture it if need be. The more important thing is making sure there's no weird forcing moves here to give him another eye. So basic principle here is just divide and conquer. And on the bottom, we leaned on the group that we didn't want to attack to put pressure and attack the one that we did want to attack. That's all. That's basic fighting principles. Unfortunately, when you get into really aggressive games like this, you, d you miss direction of play a lot. So that's a huge issue. A lot of people get bogged down into, you know, fighty, 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 fighty games, and then they don't actually work on, they don't really know where the largest points are, because they're used to, used to, like, fight into attack and kill things, um, which is another reason why I usually try to avoid getting into, or wanting to even bother trying to kill things in basic games, because that's really not the skill that we're trying to learn. We're trying to learn where the points are, uh, how to attack to get the points, uh, how to invade to reduce the points, rather than, you know, anything. Ooh, 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 you see what he wants? I play here, he plays there. Oh, that's, that's, that's pretty sexy. Did that just work? play here, he plays there, I play there, he plays there, and he has an eye. So I have to play here right now. Technically it doesn't work, but it's gonna hurt a lot. That is gonna hurt a lot, isn't it? Okay. He goes here, I go here. He's gonna cut me. Oh god. Oi. Oof, this is gonna hurt. That one right there is the one that's gonna hurt. I guess, because it gets it gets tricky. It gets tricky. Oh god, this is gonna get tricky. Um I play here then? I play here, he could play there, I play there, he then play... No, we're fine. I guess this one will work. He's gonna play here now, try to kill me. But luckily enough, we can actually Atari this. And now we can threaten to capture. That's why I decided not to play this one, because otherwise this would be Sente, and then I couldn't capture him. But now I can, so we're good. And yeah, there's not a lot to learn in games that get this complicated, because a lot of, some of it is actually reading, which is really, really irritating. It's like, well, how do I, how, how do I, how do I get to this position? It's like, well, you just, you just gotta read. I'm sorry. Like, if you didn't read that out, maybe he lives. Maybe he lives. If you didn't read it out, it's possible. Uh, two eyes beats no eyes, so we're good here. I'm gonna take a moment to be completely safe and make sure there's no ways for this to make shape 
and there's no cutting points that I have to worry about or anything along those lines. So we're going here to fix our shape. Complete protection of shape. This kind of goes back to basics, like if you didn't learn from the basic series that we've played so far, that shape is important, that defending yourself uh, is important, all of mm, excuse me, uh, all these things, then yeah, maybe you're in trouble. Then maybe you wouldn't defend this, there'd be shenanigans uh, that would occur later, and then you'd be screwed. Uh, here it's basic again, four, two, one, two, three. So I'll make the turn. Now, game two is going to be a bit more basic. We're not going to try to fight. We're going to try to um, attack for profit again because this is just sick. However, I knew there I know there is a portion of people out there that do want to see fighting games uh, and understand the principles behind how you fight. And arguably this game did uh, have some wonderful examples as to uh, that sort of thing. Like here, a lot of people would fight over this immediately when there's absolutely no reason to. Him having weak points here, here, and here doesn't mean I have to go do something about it now. It just means that he's gonna have to play like two or three moves over there in order to ensure I can't invade it. And if he's doing that, I'm gonna play elsewhere and get points. So I actually, whatever, don't care. Uh, as we see here, this is like what? One, two, three, oh, sorry, one, ah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Can't really count this yet because the invasion. So congratulations, 18 points. Am I really gonna fight, not defend myself over 18 points? No, we're not doing that. If I wanted to be aggressive, I could play here, but again, I don't really see a reason to, so we backed off. Here he gave me some territory. Incente might I add. Um, it might actually be worth it. It might actually be worth it to play here. I'm not 100% on this, because this is Sente now. Or is it? Is this even Sente? Is that even someday? You know, I'm not so certain. I'm not so certain that's even Sentai. Like, aren't I getting more than him? You can make a case for even getting up those three stones if you went after him, I guess. Oops, wrong button. So, small move, we're defended, don't have to respond. Defending group again, make it nice and strong. Keep him out of the corner, take him to territory. Invasion point, like we mentioned. We push first to expand our base. And then to tire our way out. If you wanted to be 100% alive, and then he could play here. I don't think I can screw with it because there's too many ways for him to make um, a base. Two eyes. This kind of thing is important if you're trying to attack. This is probably one of the most important things I could I could think of in the game. Like if I was saying I'm gonna put pressure on this group, I want to attack it. Bam! I attacked it. But I don't know. Then maybe he doesn't do that ever. Like maybe he pokes there. Maybe he gets some shape here, and then we can't really see maybe how to keep attacking his eyes because we didn't disrupt his eye shape. So we poked. It's sente, because otherwise complete surround. So we poke. We poke here too, because the oops. Because there's no cutting point here. Again, same thing. Now we're looking for our shape, because we just learned that make that putting yourself into a stick is sucks. So we're making shape here for ourselves. He's trying to contest. He sees the large area. Puts us behind the enemy. He's poking at us. But this just doesn't work, unfortunately. 
regretfully, our shape is too good. Now some of you can say, well, he could have played here, and you're right, he could have. Could have played here. You're right, he could have. Uh, but the problem is, after that, we don't care, right? We get something like this, and then we're fine. So it's all good. It's all good. Said he ran it out, which condemned him to death. That was stupid. That was just dumb. Needed to play here. Now, if you play something like this, we throw in. We do this, we do that. And now he can't make it two eyes. Wait, maybe he can. Maybe I'm lying. Am I lying again? Uh. Doo, doo. No, I'm not lying. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah, we're fine. He can't make it twice here. So, this is another reason why I say in the basic series we don't fight to kill. Because it's easy to misread this or screw up. And if you've been fighting to kill something and then you mess up at the end, it's so much better to just have the freaking profit. Just go with the certain profit rather than the questionable life and death at the end of the road. You know? Because maybe there's Aji out there that you just did not know existed. And you played to kill, but then the Aji comes back to haunt you, and then you killed nothing. Sucks. Really sucks. That's why I played here. He can save his group. But, again, if we have this, we're pretty friggin' happy this game. This is still weak. We're picking up solid points that he can't contest. That gives us nice certainty in our game. Play like this 10 times out of 10. Not the uh, all-in trying to kill them. That is, that's not the right way to play. It's fun, don't get me wrong. I do it a lot. But... And then from here, we just lean down the bottom in order to attack the middle. And uh, from there, he doesn't have anywhere to go. So he just sort of died. So those of you who've been wanting a bit more aggressive games, hope you enjoyed this one. Alright, game two. It looks like we're black. So we are going to try and do a little bit of building here if we are able. I don't want to build with the Chinese though. So I'm just going to go ahead and approach the 3-4 that's facing me. Nice. Alright, now we're looking to build. We're going to try to attack to build something. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to play still basic. I'm going to still play basic. See what he wants to do. Alright. Clamping here and keeping him low is proper. But I don't want to push the game that far in my favor this early. So instead, I'm going to use the wall to do exactly what I said. I just want to attack to build something. Jumping out is nice and all, but he's still behind enemy lines. I could, in fact, try to attack this, but I'm not going to. Because I want to build stuff. Make a uh, very common exchange here. Doing a very common exchange here, which I give him one stone for the outside. He'll hit my 3 3 in a minute. Yep. They always do it. Always do it. Um, I'll go ahead and here and double honey. Sure, why not? Yeah, why not? I'll double Hane. Either I get my corner back, or he gives me influence. I'm fine with this. I'm going to go and defend my cutting point now, because we are playing basic. Um, I'm going to protect what I'm growing, because we're playing basic. I have Sente now, so we're going to surround here, 
but I'm a little nervous of his group. So I'm going to surround with just a diagonal. Okay. I'm going to further surround. Get the wall. And now approach. We've got a large enough wall to worry about it dying right now. So we can play the next largest move, which is the corner. First, we took care of this though. And now once again, we're building. And in closing, I guess I'll go ahead and take a large knight, why not? All right, now do we have any weak groups on this board? Mm, arguably this one, I could connect it. Could connect it, it's a solid decision. You know what, I, I will go ahead and do it. I'll make sure these groups are nicely connected, nice and strong. I like it. He's invading me, I'm going to defend myself. Looks like he wants to live, understandable. But now he has to run because he can't live locally. Um, so here's where we could probably try and fight to attack and kill him. I'd really, really, really rather not play that way though. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to attack to build this area up. That's all we're going to do. If he ignores me, though, I'll kill him. Because I'll be sad. And the only way to perk yourself up when you're sad is um, pizza. Pizza usually does it. Pizza's great at doing that for me. Uh, ice cream and murder. Those, those, that, those, those really get, those really get, uh, puts the smile back on your face. And oh my god, someone offers you some pizza and ice cream while murdering people? Ah, is there anything better? I don't, I don't. I don't think so. I don't think so. He's hesitating. He can see that we're building. He wants to contest it, but he's not sure if he's alive. The answer is no. He's thinking if I play here and I play here, then I can maybe make the eye. But if I play, if he plays here, I'm acting with throne and kill him. No, I won't. I'll let him live. We have more than enough, because where is his territory? This, which is almost nothing. This, which is on the second line. The corner is respectable, and then this is a few points. Whereas, we've got a corner, we're building the middle, we got whatever this is. I'm fine, and a 3-3 invasion point still. And a group that we can attack, and this thing that we can also attack. So, two weak groups, solid points, profit. He has two weak groups, solid points, and no potential, right? Where where's his profit? If you have pro if you have potential, they have no potential. You have points, they have points. You're ahead, probably, probably, depending on the amount of allergy that exists. But you're probably ahead. So what are you gonna do? He's thinking or consulting Leela. <laughs> It's always a thought that goes in the back of my head. Ever since I heard that a friend of my, uh, that a friend of a friend is using Leela to rank up an account on a server, it's like, well, you know, they're probably thinking, or they're loading up the Leela again. Ugh, age of AI. Ah, before you just had to worry about them consulting their friend or just like a dictionary or opening up a board and actually like playing out a variation rather than just trying to read it. And now it's like, well, there's that, or they might have an AI on their computer, might be firing that up, loading the game in, seeing what it recommends. So many things, so many things. Ugh. Not pleasant, not pleasant. Some of you might not be aware of this, but I'm actually a, a uh, admin on KGS. That's something that we've had to deal with. Where we, like, where we know, like, they're using a bot. They're absolutely using a bot. But can you prove it? That's a tough one. Oh, they made a move. So we're just going to play for profit. But while we're playing for profit, we do want them to keep paying attention to Senpai. If I was playing aggressively to kill, I would lean on this right now and cut him off. 
we are not doing such things. Instead, I'm going to quite literally play here to defend myself. This threatens a surround. This threatens again. We played very severe here to make sure that we could survive playing the Hane and the Cut. Uh, so now we're just going to eyeball where we think he can't really come in past, something a bit like that, and just play a move there. This area is the one that we're interested in, so we're defending it. That one stone has no significance on the area that we are developing. The stone is now dead. I'm going to give that up because I don't really care about it. It's, it's just one stone. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn here now, make sure you can't link underneath. Threatening a sweet monkey jump, let me tell you. I will connect here. I could have dropped down, but I don't need to. I don't feel compelled. This is a basic shape. This right here is basic shape. And you kind of learn it in the 3-3. Three, three, uh, like if you imagine this is a 3-4 point, they approach and you pincer low, what's the follow-up? A going underneath, right? So, mm, mm, mm. So good. Um... This is where we get the idea that we made a mistake on a biblical level. I actually did not read out if I should extend up. I think we're okay. He plays here, we play here, and he's dead. He plays here, we play here, he Atari's me. Yeah, I don't care about that either. This cut doesn't do anything. Yeah, that cuts irrelevant. Because here we tear it down. This has a lot of liberties, so we're 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 completely a okay. There's a cut here, but again, too many liberties. Like he's going after all. Like I love what he's doing. He's going after like all of the weak points. Like there's a cutting point here. There's a cutting point here. But they're liberties, yo. Go ahead and take that away. All right, defending. This area wasn't quite as large as we wanted it to be, but that's why you're flexible during your games. Like, always look at where your potential is. Don't be obsessed with where you think you're going to be building. Play where you know you can build, and you know that by listening to the board. Listen to your stones. They're whispering to you all throughout the game, like, I'd like to really build here. I'd like to really build over here. I can build over here if you just play some stones. You gotta, you gotta listen. You gotta listen for those whispers. Go ahead and ask them while you're playing. Ask your stones where you want, where they, where uh, they want the next one to play. You, if you're listening hard enough, they'll tell you. They'll tell you. They're just anxious to work for you. You just gotta, gotta give them a chance. Gotta give them a chance. Ooh, nice move there. Um. Nah. With the thoughts I've been thinking, I could murder me a Lincoln. If you're not careful now. <laughs> that looks like a cow. Do, 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 no, do, 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 do. That looks like a cow. I don't care, we're not going to do it. Playing this game with the build. We built. We built amazingly. I'm fine with what we have. It's going to reduce him. Make sure that his stuff turns to nothing. We 
we will turn his territory to ash. Everyone likes a little ash sometimes. Um, so there's some Anji here. It's not really basic. Not even sure if it's good, to be honest. I think it is. I get to Atari through here. So he gets to keep this, but he lost this for territory. And now if I wanted to, I could throw in and then co. That's what I'm not going to do, though. The fact that he has to play here and here is fine with me. Uh, Oh, he resigned. Um, I was about to play over here somewhere. I wasn't really sure where. I won't buy how much? Eh, about a good 15 points. And I have Sente though, so it's going to be well, enlarging because I'm going to be like poking here to enlarge my territory. Uh, I could do the co if I wanted to. That would really enlarge it. But it's a good review. This was like a really short game too. Two really short games tonight. Not bad, but we combine them into one, so that's cool. So here, this game, like I mentioned, this is a classic mistake because now I can play here. You don't you don't dive in like that. You need to make there's two things you need to make. Either here, that's old school. Here, that's a bit better. This just loses you the game almost instantly. Cause now you have no potential. You have first second line territory. I mean, you don't come back from this. Realistically speaking, if you're playing someone who's, who's competent, uh, yeah, you don't come back from this. This ain't bad. That's not bad. Like I said, we could we could go here and get into a fight, but instead we just jumped out. Now you might say, "See, there you go, being all passive again." You are you labeling these videos fighting videos. How is that a fighting video? Well, it's simple. I'm telling him one of two things right now. By pincering him and making my group stronger, I am fighting for things. I'm either fighting for this area. I'm fighting. Yeah, let's, let's look at this. I'm either. OK, not that one. Hello. I'm either fighting to like surround and potentially kill this, and I'm fighting to potentially surround and ensure this is not going to expand ever again. I'm fighting to take away his potential, or I'm fighting to take away his group. Either way, we're still fighting. This is still aggressive play. Now, it's not as flashy as, you know, killing him and taking stones off the board, but it's still aggressive play. Don't make no mistake about that. Uh, same thing here. Just making, making myself some strong shapes. Same thing here. Making myself strong shapes. You're tempted, so tempted to go and play elsewhere, and just keep building. But I don't, I don't like leaving that weak, those all that Aji behind. As someone who has killed lots of people, I know what happens when you murder things and it goes wrong, or how it can go wrong when you're murdering people. You know, because they usually left Aji. You exploited it. They had no idea it exists, but as the game continues, the Anji suddenly starts developing as the board is more complicated. So yeah, that's a thing. Goats. Got strong enough to just go ahead and do whatever. Got our enclose. This is a good move. I will say if I wanted to play more aggressively, I could have played this way too. This is a common react, common result. And then from here, series build. But I wasn't sure if the, like, uh, we, I've been saying look after your weak group first, and this is like the weakest group we have, and I didn't want him to like come back and split and attack me. 
So I felt for, you know, basic purposes, yeah, we'll do this. This is fine. We've got way more potential than he does. I'm good with this. If I was trying to attack and kill this, I'd probably be playing here where he played. Again, same thing. If I play here and he responds, I mean, what do you do? You need moves in two different places right now. Instead, we're just gonna build and just build and just build, and then that's the that's actually game over right there. He can't contest what I have. <coughs> Excuse me. I didn't read this out. But luckily, I have good enough shape where that is not a cut point. Where this point here isn't a cut point. If it was, it'd get sketchy. It'd get, it'd get mighty sketchy. That's why we pay attention to our shape. And then so things like this can't happen. Like we took, we took great uh, uh, effort in making sure that our shape were nice and strong. That way when things like this happen, we've got a reliable foundation upon which to grow or fight or defend, you know, whatever. And really, that's the end of the game. So we just kind of pick the fight to build. Pick the fight to build. Defended our weak group. And then just took the large stare in the board. Whereas he, fighting or struggling to live in one area, struggling to invade the corner, struggling to split an area. I mean, at, at almost every stage of the game, he was responding to us because we were always fighting to grow and build and expand and do things. As a result, I mean, all of these little groups don't have territory and ours just do. So hope you enjoyed these two games tonight. They're a little bit more aggressive in their own way. As always, be back uh, next Friday for another basics video. And I'll see you then. Take care, everyone.